So this is a really cool plant. This is Asclepia salivantii, Asclepia salivantii, or Sullivan's milkweed it's commonly called. Now this is, uh, it kind of looks like your um, common milkweed, the Asclepia syriaca. Uh, and we'll talk about the differences here in a second on really what makes this different and what makes this special. So Asclepia sullivanti um, is named after a bryologist, uh, Sullivan's. Um, so this, this dude, uh, this bryologist, you know, collects this plant and he sends it to John Torrey and Asa Gray, who were like the botanical legends of the time. And they kind of poo-pooed it, saying that this is just common milkweed. And I think it was Fernald that actually looked at this and said, no, this is something special. This is, uh, this is different, for sure. And so, uh, so he named it after, after Sullivan's. So a couple things that we're going to look at here closely. And, uh, and if you notice, the leaves are all kind of ascending up, They're kind of lifting their hands up. Um, other than, like behind here, is a common milkweed. And you can see it's, it's, they're more just straight out, so they're not as, as ascending. Uh, and that's, that's indicative of, of uh, Sullivan's milkweed here. Um, or it's also called prairie milkweed because the habitat that it grows in is in prairies. I mean, that's where you're going to find it. And as you can see here, the leaves, they're not going to have hair on the bottom of them. Like, they're, they're, they're very glabrous, on, uh, unlike... Um, these opposite, oppositely arranged leaves, uh, unlike um, your common milkweed. And also a thing to note on the leaves, you know, they're going to have that, that midrib, like Asclepia syriaca, uh, that pinkish midrib, but they're, see how they're stalkless? They're almost clasping, almost clasping the stem, and the stem is hairless glaucous, so it has this waxy coating on it, it's glaucous. Then looking at these flowers, you can see these long petals drooping down, these petals drooping down. Um, they're going to be, I think, 10 to 12 millimeters long. And then the hoods, the hoods are going to be uh, 5 or 6 millimeters long, um, 5 or 6 millimeters long. So the sepals here are going to be pinkish. The petals are glabrous or hairless. The petals are hairless. You can see that when they're closed up here, they're hairless. Um, the the uh, peduncles or the um, the flower stalks are also hairless as well. The pedicels here, uh, and these are in umbels. I don't know if I've talked about this in any other videos. Maybe I did, but uh, the inflorescence is in umbels, so they all come to a central point. They all come to a central point. So these flowers are going to be bigger. There's going to be fewer flowers per head than on Asclepia syriaca. Again, the hairless leaves, um, hairless petals, hairless glabrous um, flower stalks, uh, glaucous stem. So, on this one, the horns don't go past the seep, past the hoods, like, uh, like Sclepia syriaca. And also, you can kind of see that these petals kind of drape out more, a little more. They kind of flare out, I think, uh, more than, uh, than you're going to see in um, Sclepia syriaca as well. And we're comparing the two because those two often are confused with each other. So it doesn't grow as aggressively as uh, Sclepia syriaca. So if you have a nice yard, this is a better landscaping plant. It behaves a lot better than uh, Sclepia syriaca. The problem is, is you're not going to get flowering right away on it. I mean, I've had mine for five years and hasn't flowered yet. Um, and so it may not just, it may just not like my house, you know, uh, could be. Um, but anyway, these are really cool. The one thing that I've noticed, um, especially along trails, is oftentimes the follicles, the seed pods, which are, are look similar to common milkweed, the Sleepy Syriaca, but doesn't have as much warts on it. It uh, doesn't have as much warts on it. Um, but oftentimes, when I come out here and look at these populations by the trail, uh, people cut and steal the, the seed pods, which is completely terrible and offensive. <laughs> 